gentle chaste and spotless maid, we sinners make our prayers to thee. Be mine, thy son, that he has paid the price of our iniquity. Virgin most pure, star of the sea, pray for the sinner, pray for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome everyone as we gather as pilgrims here at this holy shrine but also in that spiritual communion with those who are watching from other places around our world at this time, especially praying for the sick, especially praying for those who are burdened, especially praying for our families and our nations. As we are honoured to be here this morning, we are a group from the Diocese of Meath in Ireland and here in Fatima this morning we have a typical Irish morning, it's damp and wet. But we're delighted to be here, full of joy, for we come on pilgrimage in the centennial year of the apparitions here in Fatima. As we look to the statue of Our Lady of Fatima, thinking of the visionaries, as we gaze at her face, let us think of that face as being the face of mercy, as Pope Francis has asked us to see it. And in our preparation for Mass, let us call to mind the great need we have for that gift of divine mercy in our lives and in our world. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us one day to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary of a Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest. As men make merry when dividing spoils, for the oak that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, God Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. 
kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Let us acclaim the gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The angel, Gabriel, was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asking herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel Gabriel left her. My brothers and my sisters, in Christ Jesus, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here in the shrine of Fatima, the prayer that's most often said is the Hail Mary. The children were here in this field praying the Hail Mary when Our Lady appeared to them. And for those six months, the people came with the children to pray the rosary and to say the Hail Mary. And so began pilgrimage to this sacred spot that for over 100 years now, people have come here to this field to pray. And one of the great prayers of the Catholic faith is the Hail Mary. And I just want to tease out for a few moments the meaning of this great Catholic prayer. The Hail Mary, as we all know, divides into two parts. The first half of the prayer is centered on Mary as the mother of Jesus. The mother of Jesus. And that first half of the prayer about Mary being the mother of Jesus comes from two incidents that we hear about in the Bible. One of them we've just read about, the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel's words to Mary on the 25th of March 
In a few days' time, we celebrate that feast when Mary had an angel in front of her and the angel said to her, Hail Mary, you are full of grace. Of all women, you are chosen. You are to bear a child and that child will be God's son sent into the world. So the greeting of the angel Gabriel, the Annunciation opens this prayer. And then the next part of that first half of the prayer, we dwell on what happens in the visitation when Elizabeth, six months ahead of Mary, is pregnant with child and they meet. And Elizabeth says, you are to be a wonderful mother. The greatest of all women is to be you, Mary. And we should all rejoice. Hail Mary, you are full of grace because Jesus is with you in your womb. And of all women, you are the greatest. So the first half of the prayer of the Hail Mary is based on scripture. Those two events of the Annunciation and the Visitation. And that part of the prayer, we don't know when it started, but we know it started in the very early days of the church. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, the people met to pray and they put together the words about Mary to be found in Luke's Gospel. And then the second half of the prayer, I mentioned the first part of the prayer is about Mary as the mother of Jesus. The second half of the prayer of the Hail Mary that we're asked to reflect on here in Fatima is based on Mary as the mother of God. Mary is the mother of Jesus, but is the mother of God, the mother of us all. And this whole idea of Mary being the mother of all Christians goes back to the Council of Ephesus. In 431, our church defined that the Blessed Virgin Mary is truly the mother of God. And so from that teaching back in the 5th century, officially in the Council of Trent in 1568, we got the second part of the prayer, Holy Mary, Mother of God. And that part of the prayer is about petition. The first half is about Mary being the mother of Jesus and we give praise to Mary. The second is about, half of the prayer is about petition. We come to Mary to ask Mary for something. We ask Mary to intercede for us. And that intercession we pray for now. Now. We don't pray for something in the future or something in the past. Our Christianity has to be living. It has to be in the present. We are here in this day at the end of March in this beautiful sanctuary. Now is an opportunity to be grasped. Every day we live in the now as Christians and we cannot live in the past and we cannot live or worry about the future. All we can do is live in the now and in the present. So we ask Mary to intercede for us now that we're doing our best as Christians. And the last conclusion, to pray for us now and also at the hour of our death. Because the hour of our death is a defining moment when we pray that through the life that we've lived here on earth, that we are found worthy of heaven. So this morning I put before you the words of the Hail Mary as we pray the rosary, as we receive a jubilee indulgence by coming here to this shrine this year. I ask you to reflect on the prayers. They should never just be done in a rush. Reflect on the words, even to spend a few moments before the Blessed Sacrament praying quietly the Hail Mary and realizing the great richness of the, wor of the words that they contained. So now, mindful of those words, we pray to Mary as we look at her sacred statue here and we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
let us stand for our prayers of intercession. Father in heaven, you know the thoughts of our minds and the beat of our hearts. We seek you to heed our petitions this day. That the Holy Church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, receive from God abundance of that peace which Jesus Christ brought into the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the efforts of all people of goodwill in promoting peace and fraternal harmony be blessed and crowned with success and that the entire world may experience that great gift of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. That international institutions foster the search for peace among peoples and that weapons of death be transformed into instruments of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the rich nations and their governments, overcoming the temptation of power and superiority, rectify injustice towards the poor nations and help the many who are hungry and in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, us. Lord, graciously hear us. That people who suffer because of war may once again find the gift of peace and comfort, and that our diseased brothers and sisters share in the eternal joys of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the members of this assembly, united in celebration of these sacred mysteries, be found worthy to greet one another in peace and to true messages and servants of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. At the request of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, at the Angelus last Sunday in St. Peter's, we pray for the peoples of Peru and Lima especially, who are afflicted with awful floods and tragedy at this time. Remember too, those who are refugees in our world. We pray also for those in northern Nigeria, in southern Sudan, in Somalia and the Yemen, who are suffering the great affliction of famine and horror at this time. And we pray for those countries that need conversion to allow freedom of religious belief and devotion to our God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for a moment, let us call to mind our own petitions and those petitions left here at Our Lady's feet and allow our hearts to um, beat in tandem with the graces of our Heavenly Mother and her Son, her Sacred Heart. Remember especially those who grieve and all are dead who are gone before us, marked with a sign of faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we make these in all our prayers through Christ, the light of our world. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, 
that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, Our Lady of Fatima, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, Lift up your hearts. We raise them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name on this, uh, as we honour the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, Our Lady of Fatima. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived her only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And let us stand or kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all, all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile, your, reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. <clears throat> may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children throughout the world. 
to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with, with him and him in him, him, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and former divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's offer each other a sign of peace. And so as privileged givers and receivers of this gesture of peace, we think of those who need peace of mind, peace in troubled homes, and those various troubled parts of our world. And we pray, Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of world, have mercy, have mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. When he said the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving may every moment be thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving may every moment be thine. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in Thee. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, Your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worldly the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. What a privilege it is for all of us to be able to gather around the altar of God at any day, but especially here, this shrine of Our Lady. We thank all the people who assist us in our time here, especially the local parishioners um, and those who work all tirelessly making our welcome, uh, making our stay a warm welcome here. As we leave from here, we leave our petitions, we leave part of us as well, as we take part of the spirit of this sacred sanctuary with us. And we pray that we can bring that peace of Our Lady and bring that opportunity of bringing others back to the Lord. And so with the children of Fatima, let us pray, pray constantly for the conversion of others and for ourselves in these days of Lent. And so please join in singing when we finish with our concluding blessing and when creation was begun. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God, watch over you and bless you throughout your day. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Go glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. When creation was begun, God.